NetBeans in Java can create a fully functional web application given just a database. The type of application it creates is referred to as CRUD, C -R -U -D, which stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. And it basically builds an application that allows you to interact with the database. You can update records, you can add records, you can read data, uh, and you can delete it. The uh, design it uses to build the app is referred to as the Model View Controller. So if you're not familiar with MVC or Model View Controller, you might want to check out some other resources before continuing. But the basic concept is when you're building an application using Model View Controller is that the screens are stored in a separate place as a separate file called the view. Data is stored separately in classes called the model and the controller is all the other code that interacts between the two. So to build an app, we're going to create a new project by clicking File, New Project, and we're going to go to the Web App folder. If you don't have this, that means you've installed one of the lighter versions of NetBeans, and you should go back to netbeans.org and do install and pick the one on the far right that's got all the modules. And then I'm going to pick Web Application and say next, and I'm going to call it My Web CRUD. And I believe you can leave everything else empty or as the, the default. And it will generate, we can open it here, a very basic outline of a web application. Uh, the next step is we're going to right click on the project and say new and go down to other. And we want to scroll down and find the persistence folder. And once we look at the persistence folder, we want to select entity classes from database. So the first thing we're going to build is the code for the model. Say next. And we want to select the data source. So if you haven't set up your data source, you can do that on the um, services tab. I'm in going to just use the sample database that comes with NetBeans. And these are the tables, and I'm just going to select all of them, although you don't have to. And I'm going to say next. And here in the package, uh, this would be the folder or the package name that these entity classes are going to go in. Sometimes people call them entity. I'm going to call them model, just because we're referring to it as the model view controller architecture. I'm going to say next and finish. And you'll notice that a package gets created and there's one class, one file for each table in the database. And it generates all the code to store the data and interact with the database for you. Now I want to create the view and the controller. So I can right click and say new and go to other. Go back to the persistence package. This time I want to select JSF pages from entity classes. Say next. And here it already knows what entity classes were created. I'm just going to select all of them and say next. And you notice it already knows the package name of where the uh, entity classes were created. Uh, I'm going to put the session bean package to controller. If not, it'll put it in the same package as where the model is and sometimes that's a little confusing. So we can change the package name and I'm going to name it controller. Uh, down here is where the pages get created and I could write view here but if I don't they'll just automatically be put in the web pages folder which is fine because it's obvious that they're the web pages and if I make view it just makes a subfolder so I'm going to leave that blank. I can say next and finish. Once it gets done creating you'll notice that there is a controller module and that's got code in there for all of the controllers for each of the database tables. You'll also notice that there's a subfolder under the web pages folder that has all of the screens for each of the tables to create and edit and view. 
Now to run the application, the first thing we probably want to do is do a right click on the project and say clean and build. And then right click on it and say run. And the web application looks like this. There's kind of a link for each of the database tables. You can view the information. Over here you can view one screen, one record at a time. You can edit it, you can destroy it or delete it. And down here you can click to create a new one. So for some applications this might be enough functionality. Uh, for applications that require more than just CRUD features you can use this as a starting point and then modify the code to add whatever additional features you are which ultimately should save you time. And that's how you generate a completely functional web application with NetBeans and Java.